morning everybody we got a big day today we're gonna go 123 miles deadhead from the house to pick up the first vehicle today scoop up a second one going 14 miles north of uh, where the first one delivers it's actually on the way first one picks up in Mount Vernon Illinois second one picks up in Effingham Illinois we're gonna go through here 123 mile deadhead we're gonna average for the entire trip up with the 120 with with the deadhead we're gonna average uh, four dollars and six cents a mile today and we're gonna scoop that up and make fourteen hundred forty seven dollars uh, right now it's 619 in the morning and uh, the only reason I left this late or I would have already been there actually is because the first place we're picking up at doesn't even open until 830 we're set right now according to GPS we're set to get there at about 813 a.m. but I do have to stop and get fuel first so that's probably gonna put us dead on that 830 mark we're picking up a limo is is the biggie and, th and this is one thing I wanted to mention about load boards always expand a wide search at first you never know it that's gonna do two things one thing it's gonna give you a, a glimpse of what might be going on uh, sort everything by price because you never know you're you, you know a lot of times you'll run into that emergency load that that big get it there you know yesterday load and um you won't see those if, if you try to stay tight a lot of people worry about deadhead which you need to that's time and mileage that you know is basically you know you're not making anything but every once in a while you'll come across a load like this to where the deadhead makes it so worth it because Without the deadhead from the house, this load pays almost six bucks a mile. That's not even counting the other one. I didn't even have to book the other one, but I mean, you, I can't pass one up that's that's literally on the way, so. But the second thing uh, that, that that will help you do is it will, it will actually help you route yourself because when you see a bunch of good stuff, you know, you'll, you'll see things, you'll tend to see things in one direction or, you know, two separate directions. That'll help you determine which way, which way to go from the house. You know, it's like, if you see something you know, 100 miles, 150 miles away, how many things can you take along that route? You know, is it along a route that you could take, you know, from something local to where, you know, you're not eating the deadhead there? So it, it does several things, but I always like to do this. And, and every once in a while, like I said, you'll come across these, these big golden eggs like this. So we're gonna go grab this limo, or actually we're gonna go get fuel here in probably about half an hour. Uh, we'll, be, we'll be at our fuel stop, but should be an interesting day because you guys notice I, I shaved I, I, I knocked the beard off it's too uh, it's too hot it's too hot for all that I don't know what's going on with whatever facial hair I actually can grow at the time but I get crazy dry skin and yes I've, I've used the beard oil before I've used different products for all that and I sometimes I still do especially when it when it gets so bad but I've just been getting a tag lately with the the beard itch or the the beard drift or whatever they want to call that and it's I couldn't take it so I knocked it down pretty good last night so we'll see what happens this week out we'll get this morning cranked up I'm gonna go get some fuel and some coffee and then we'll uh we'll pick it back up after that about 20 till 9 when we got here and I already got the inspection knocked out we're gonna grab this limo load it up and then uh, we'll be headed to pick up the next car behind it so good timing today so far we're on track 
There it is. All 30 foot. All right, so we got the limo loaded. We're headed to pick up that enclave now. It's uh, it's right, Effingham's right at about an hour north of uh, Mount Vernon there. So we'll be there pretty shortly. What'd you think about all the, uh, kind of the driving time lapse there of all the construction sites? Just in a, what is that, a 90 mile stretch? So 90 miles we passed what, four or five construction zones? It's crazy, it's, it, you know, it's the adage is true that, you know, there are two seasons in trucking, there's winter, and construction so anyway uh, we're gonna go head up here and pick this up and we'll pick right back up after that for the delivery all right sorry about that guys I, I think that uh, I've got two batteries for this GoPro I think the one that I had to switch out to for the last time uh, I think something's going on with it because apparently everything I thought I've been recording so far uh, well since I swapped the battery hasn't recorded so uh, we missed loading up the Enclave uh, everything went good there though we're now we had just pulled into the uh the chrysler dealership we're gonna get rid of this limo and it is 148 so making decent time um i had to stop again i went ahead and stopped again to fuel up there was a, a pretty cheap rate uh right back down the road but i'm gonna go ahead and jump out get this limo off here and we're gonna head to finish unloading the trailer and then i think i'm just gonna go ahead and start loading up for tomorrow uh, but that'll be it. It is, like I said, 10 till 2. Um, started the day right at 6. So, not too bad. Not too bad. Still uh, going to be gonna be a good day's work anyway. Good good money for a day's work. But uh, let's go ahead and get this off here, and then I'll, I'll catch back up to you after that. Oh, we finally made it to our last stop. Have you ever just hit everything stupid in traffic? That happened on the way up here. Uh, it took way longer than it needed to. So now it is 3.17. And uh, we're going to throw this off here and um, be done for the drops for the day. 1,447 delivered. Sweet. And just a smidge over nine hours. So not too bad. I won't complain about that too bad. But we'll jump this off here and... Turn it in and I believe I'm just going to go ahead and go pick up uh, one for tomorrow a day early. So I've already called. Everything's good to go. It's picking up at an auction anyway. So let's get this off here. Yep. All right. So that's going to do it for this day. I just figured I'd jump on here and wrap this all up i did end up getting the first vehicle headed back south um, after today for tomorrow so 
uh, actually got a jump on on the day tomorrow which I kind of planned on doing anyway but I didn't have to so it wasn't really in my in my train of thought today until I started getting towards the end and saw that I was, I was gonna have plenty of time to go get it so that's where we're at um, I don't know if I'll do a vlog uh, for the rest of this week anyway um, I actually there's a couple video ideas I have and if you guys have any ideas for videos let me know about them you know leave it leave a comment let me know what you want to know about I know I've uh, made a few videos about that but that was a while ago there's several new subscribers so if anybody has any anything you want to see or want to hear me talk about or get my input on uh, if, if I've done it or I've experienced it I'll, I'll let you know what I thought about it and, and uh, any, anything to that extent so if you have any ideas or you want to hear anything uh, let me know let me know in the comments and um, until then guys we'll see you next time